County, a day that will be remembered for a pair of fires that claimed five lives. Three of the dead were pulled from smoke and flames that tore through a Rutherford home. Among the victims, a one-year-old boy, his grandmother, and his great-grandmother. His grandfather escaped through a front door while neighbors coaxed a nine-year-old stepbrother to jump out a second-story floor, second story window. Investigators linked the flames to candles burning near a first-floor stairway. For New Jersey is still shocked tonight over the deaths of three members of a neighborhood family. They were killed in a tragic fire last night, a fire officials now say could have been prevented. New Jersey correspondent Roseanne Coletti reports from Rutherford. Fire raced through the home of Leonard and Shirley Berube in Rutherford, New Jersey last night. Investigators say it probably started in the Christmas decorations on the first floor. Three people were killed. We've known them for a long time. They have lots of friends in Rutherford, lots of them. 60-year-old Leonard Berube, who was in the basement, got out. So did his nine-year-old grandson, Jason Strode, who jumped from the second floor. I kept yelling to him, jump, 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 we'll catch you. And uh, he jumped, and uh, we caught him. Jason's 60-year-old grandmother, Shirley Berube, her 84-year-old mother, and 15-month-old grandson were also on the second floor, apparently watching TV. Yet they all were killed. Firemen say the flames never reached the second floor. The three died of smoke inhalation. Was there anything that could have saved them? We really didn't notice any fire uh, alarms up there, smoke alarms or anything. If they would have had these in, in working order, they could have gotten out, or even possibly the emergency fire escape that you could hang outside a window. This ladder and smoke alarms can be found in hardware and department stores and some mail order catalogs. The New Jersey Fire Safety Council says the ladders are no substitute for smoke detectors required by law in new homes. No one ever expects this kind of tragedy. And second-guessing what may have saved the lives of those who died here certainly won't bring them back.